Hi, my name is John Rhodes and I study health management and policy. My name is Heather Otto and I'm studying population health sciences. My name is Elizabeth McDonald. I am a second year MPH student. My name is Nuriti. I graduated from the University of Michigan School of Public Health in May 2020. Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Carson and I study female athlete health. Hi, my name is Alicia Dominguez and I'm studying biostatistics at the University of Michigan School of Public Health. I am recording this from my living room slash dining room slash office in Ann Arbor, Michigan. On the West Coast in Bend, Oregon, visiting my parents. From my living room in Atlanta, Georgia. In New York City. In Ann Arbor, Michigan, in my kitchen. I'm recording this in my living room in Ojo Caliente, New Mexico. Clarksville, Tennessee. I'm recording this in a town in South Jersey near Philadelphia. I am located in my family home here in Troy, Michigan. The word that describes 2020 is uncertainty. I would just say stressful. Exhausting. I would say it is wild, just wild. The need to constantly adapt. It's been a wild ride, but overall I think I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I would say that it was overwhelming, but it was promising. 2020 has also been an important time for self-reflection. Despite all of the negatives that have come out of 2020, I think a lot of positive things have also come out of 2020. This year has changed my perspective on public health. It's given me a very real view of what it's like to practice public health and how important health communication is. I found ways to to get involved, I found ways to, you know, expand my skill set to, to learn more. Being in public health has helped me see the world in a lot of different perspectives and lenses. Going into 2021 and knowing what we've experienced in 2020 has sort of made it more obvious to people how important public health is. I hope to help empower others. Think about the data a little bit more. Um, critically. I think that the most important thing that we can get across is that science takes time uh, and science is not static. It's important to know that public health is ingrained in every single aspect of our lives. Your job, your food insecurity, do you have access to healthy foods? Can you travel? Do you have transportation? How, how we interact in our communities is much more important than we have given credit to in the past. I'm feeling hopeful about the progress in public health that's being made during the pandemic. I think it's really powerful knowing that I'm looking out at like the changed world with all the inequities, but I know that myself and my peers are all going into this field to address them. It's important that we continue to learn from one another and contribute towards uh, causes that are honorable. If there's interest in getting into the field. I think now is a great time because there's such a need. I study public health because I'm interested in how we can affect people's health and well-being on a large scale. It's just very important to me overall to make sure that I am contributing as much as possible to the environment and world that I want to see in the future. I found this, this passion of mine that I, I didn't expect to develop um, when I when I came into the School of Public Health. I'm in public health because I want to make the world a healthier place, which sounds cheesy, but it's genuine. Doing something so important is like the dream, basically. 